What's up, YouTube friends and family? I'm Elvis. And I'm Michelle. And today, guys, we are in a very cute, quaint little town called... Cleveland. Ohio. Just kidding. <laughs> you know what? We've been to several states that have a Cleveland. I think we go to state, Cleveland, Tennessee as well. I'm pretty sure every state has a Cleveland. But y'all, today, we're in our home state of Georgia. Yes. So Cleveland, Georgia is in Northeast Georgia. Um, it was founded in 1857 and it's in White County. The current population is 3,548. It's 92% white, 2.3% black, and 3.5% mixed other races. Mm. Cleveland, Georgia is named after General Benjamin Cleveland. He was a general in the War of 1812. He's grandson of Colonel Benjamin Cleveland, who was um, a colonel in the Revolutionary War. This light is taking forever. It is. Uh, median income, household income is 55125 Poverty level is 23%. In his defense, he just got out to um, clean the windshield and he just forgot to put it back on. That old hardware store right there. Nick's, Nick's Hardware and Furniture. So crime here, um, property crime is a little above national average, 9% above. Violent crime is 64% below the national average, which gives the total crime um, a 3% below national average. Look at that little, um, those two businesses right there. Clyde's Table and Tavern and Bella's Mercantile. That is so cool, man. Yeah. A blast from the past. So, y'all, um, if you're from Georgia, you probably already know this. Cleveland, Georgia is best known um, because it's the home to Babyland General Hospital, which is the birthplace and adoption center of Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, that's right. forgot about that. Yep. Um, Xavier Roberts was the creator of Cabbage Patch Kids, and he was from Cleveland, Georgia. Hmm. One other um, notable person from Cleveland was Alton Brown, and he's one of the Food Network personalities. Look at these. Building right there. Yeah. Outfitters. Cool. And then we have more businesses over here. Yeah, you can tell though, like the date of this square. Like all the buildings are an older style. Oh, yeah. You know, it's definitely. been around for a while. You know, it's more like South Georgia. This is yeah, more like yeah. the squares in South Georgia. I mean, it looks like everything is open or yeah. operational, yeah, but it's yeah. just the storefronts look old. <laughs> yeah, but nice though. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what else we can find. Let me go left and see if we can go down some more streets over here. Can you move, buddy? We come to this area, well, we usually go, come to Helen, if not once a year, every couple of years, right? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like we come here about once a year. Yeah. Um, or the last few years, anyway. But this area has changed so much since the last time we were here. 100%. We were probably here for our honeymoon the last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, last March. There are so many wineries in this area i mean this has always kind of been known wineries for distilleries wineries. and meaderies yes yes we've seen so many new ones um i think there were seven or eight listed on this sign um coming into town this town is definitely on the rise i think all of north georgia is on the rise i love it i think people are leaving um yeah i love it too people are leaving atlanta and coming to places like this Nobody wants to live in Atlanta anymore. 
I never wanted to live there. There's the city hall right here on the right. I don't know if y'all saw that as we turned. It's a brick building over here. We'll have to go um, at least take a picture of the the um, Babyland General Hospital. We usually pass it, but we don't usually come through the the downtown area of Cleveland. It's crazy. We've been to Cleveland so many times, and we never knew there was a downtown. We never came to the downtown. Yeah. Because usually we're just passing through Cleveland to get to I Helen. assumed there was no downtown. This is the courthouse to the right, right here, I think. Uh, yeah. Yep. Wow, that's different. Yeah, it is different. I don't think we, they could even see it on the video. Nah, though. There's no street in front of it. See, too. there's another cottage winery. Is up this way somewhere. How many wineries do you think there are up here? I don't know because we, I mean, we've passed. We've seen like 10. <laughs> yeah, probably just yeah. coming from Dahlonega here, which is about a 20 minute drive. We didn't pass all of them. Some of them we just saw the signs for. Yeah. But so there's a they market. They were all uh, in this area. What do you call this? Um, Farmer's market. Yeah. Everybody's got their little bird houses for sale and hmm. crafts and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. So wholesome. It'd be cool to come here and sell empanadas. Hmm. These people in North Georgia might not even know what empanadas are. Hmm. Once they have one, they'll be hooked. Hmm. True. Not if it's thrift store. That's pretty much it for the downtown. Yeah, it's not huge. No, but it's very small. Oh, there are a lot of treats there. Honey, hot sauce. Mm -hmm. So where to now? Gonna ride around the hoods a bit? Yeah, we'll see some houses, I guess. And they're leaving early. Well, they've probably been here since early. Yeah, let's um, hit up some back roads and see what people are living like in downtown Cleveland, Georgia. This. this is interesting. Oh, we can't go in that way. Damn it. All those little chairs outside. Oh, he has a stop sign. Houses back here. What's going on? Uh, well, there's some houses that way. Okay. But this is strange though, because the the houses are so spread out. It's not like a regular neighborhood. Cool. Huh. What in the 
surely that's not a house. I mean, like, I feel like it's a business or a center or something. Okay, I'm gonna make a U-turn and we're gonna take the camera down and you're gonna hold it and you're gonna film that. You want to? That's too interesting to just pass up. Yeah. Damn, this is pretty nice back here. These are some nice houses. All right. All right, guys, look at that. Look at all these bikes right here. That's so cool. This person must be really artsy, huh? Or cuckoo. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna have to drive to the front and Definitely, see yeah. what, um, if this is a business or like a community center or what exactly we've got going on here. Pasture parking only? Alright guys, that was pretty interesting. So we're going where, Michelle? We're gonna go check out the Babyland General Hospital before we get out of Cleveland because that was pretty much it for the downtown area. And this Babyland General Hospital is like two miles away. So we can check out a few little neighborhoods on the way there and then just show y'all the Babyland General Hospital. So those dolls came from here, the, the guy that created them? Yes. So uh -huh. every, you know, I don't even know if they still sell cabbage patch, cabbage patch kids in stores, huh. but I've never seen one in a store. So I mean, they did when I was a oh, kid. Oh no, back then, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I haven't seen those in years. I mean, so, we don't even have toy stores anymore. So yeah, but you know, you used to be able to get them at Walmart and Target and places really? like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think, I mean, I've seen them in stores before, oh. but. I don't know if they still sell them in stores or even if this place is still open. Did I think it is. Did you ever like those garbage pail kids cards or not? Yes, of course. I used to love them. Oh my god. But um, but I remember having a cabbage patch kid. All right, turn right here. So basically, if you ever had a cabbage patch kid, this is the hospital. Where they were born? Where they were born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they made them in or China. Or created. Sure no, I don't think so. You don't this, think they they um, had them mass produced in China? There's no way they could so. mass produce in this little place. Those things were popular all over the globe. Well, I'm they were born at this hospital, honey. <laughs> I know you like to think uh, that. I don't know. It's a good question. We should look that up. I'm 100% sure they were made in China. I'm sure China contacted him and told him we'll, we'll mass produce these dolls for half the price. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. But you know, when you got the doll, it came with a little card that had the baby's name yeah, and told yeah. you their birthday and all of that stuff. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I like to believe they all came from Babyland General I'm in sure. Cleveland, Georgia. What do y'all think? Elvis just doesn't know because he never had a Cabbage Patch Kid Sister had as one. a child. Well, I'm sure hers came from Cleveland, Georgia as well. Nope. Japan. China. China. <laughs> We're going to turn left. Uh, look at the sign over there. You see it? Yeah. So turn here? Yep. Well, that's what Waze is telling me, but I guess you could turn down there too. It's taking me in the back way, I guess. Um, they used to, you know, you used to be able to come to the hospital and you could do tours and you could buy one of the Cabbage Patch Kids oh. there at the hospital. I wonder if it was more expensive if you bought it there. Mm, I don't know. Probably was. I mean, I didn't ever get to go take a tour the hospital but we did have cabbage patch kids and my mama would hand make little clothes for them really it's funny we didn't have a lot of money to buy you know doll clothes so she would make us doll clothes for our little babies 
Their clothes were changeable? Cabbage yeah. patch? Oh. Of course. A waste of money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Old well, she made you know she made us some clothes too. So she would just have little leftover um, fabric, and you know it didn't take much for a little yeah. Look at to this make view. a little doll dress or Look whatever. At this view coming up here, guys. Oh, right. we're in the mountains Maybe. now. Take a left here. Alright y'all, here's the big exciting trip to Babyland General. Babyland, look at the sign right there. I don't know if you guys can see uh -huh. it. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, it came out. Look how huge. Gosh, that's a beautiful building. Not the one on the left, y'all. It's, <laughs> it's in the distance. The big, uh, looks like the White House. Wow, that is beautiful. You're gonna have to take that camera down. And Cabbage Patch Kids Baby Land. Maybe one day we can bring Zaria here. Yeah. And let her um oh, that'll be pick so her a baby doll out at the Cabbage Patch yep. Hospital. Look, they're all leaving with their bags up there. <laughs> yeah, I think I want one now. You wanna go in and do Oh, that would be so sweet to get Zarya, baby. Oh, it would. I want to go see how much they cost. Damn, what if they're like three hundred dollars? Okay, honey. <laughs> they're not going to be three hundred dollars. Did I go the wrong way? Yep. Okay. I thought you did that on purpose because you were scared to go park. <laughs> guys or whatever that is hospital my bad the little mini dolls are $24.99 and then they go up from there look at that Oof. we could get her a little mini baby y'all we might have to go in the hospital I mean we have a grandbaby now yeah. what choice do we have yep All right. we'll let y'all know it's going okay guys we're leaving Babyland. That was pretty cool. That was very cool. We decided to just make a, a separate video inside of there because it was just totally different from what we were expecting. So check out that video if y'all want to see what we got for our little grandbaby. Yeah, be on the lookout. It'll come out shortly after this one. And we're heading out of Cleveland, so we hope y'all um, enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop us a comment and let us know what you thought about Cleveland and the video of the inside of the hospital might be um, ex might be named Exploring Babyland in Cleveland, I mean Cleveland, Georgia. Yeah, so, but so look but it'll that. be it'll be released within a couple of days of of this video. So yes. if it's not posted already, check back in a couple of days if you want to see it. And that's it, right? Yep. See. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Bye, y'all.